The Ford Focus RS is a little hellion of a hatchback that we found charming enough to name our 2017 Autoguide.com Car of the Year. So why am I testing it again? This thing is older news than the explosion of the USS Maine. Well, what we've got here is not your run-of-the-mill Focus. I mean, yes, it pretty much is just a standard RS, but with one very important change. You see, this example has been outfitted with the Ford Performance Drift Stick. That beautiful machined aluminum handle allows you to override the car's all-wheel drive system and hydraulically lock its rear tires for all-out hoonage. Glorious slides are but a flick of the wrist away. Just be careful not to spill your energy drink everywhere, bruh. The drift stick may mount directly to the parking brake handle, but it is entirely electronic in its operation. Activated by pulling, it temporarily disengages torque flow to the rear differential, so you're not trying to spin the tires. Then it holds those wheels firmly in place through the anti-lock braking system. Installation of the drift stick is a snap. There's no cutting, grinding, welding, or other modifications required. And since it plugs right into the car's OBD2 port, it can also serve as a diagnostics tool. Firmly anchoring the drift stick in place is an adjustable link with ball stud ends. Lock it in place to go for a sideways rip or disconnect it to set the parking brake like you normally would. Obviously, this aftermarket add-on is not to be used on public streets, which Ford strenuously points out. Basically, they're not responsible if you sideswipe a stopped ice cream truck or plow through a crowded farmer's market on a Saturday morning. There are families everywhere. Nothing? For safety, and so I'll still have a driver's license tomorrow, we came here to the M1 Concourse in Pontiac, Michigan, spread across nearly 90 acres and located right on historic Woodward Avenue. This facility is like an amusement park for car nuts. It boasts of an 11 turn, one and a half mile racetrack and even a skid pad, which is where we've been doing our testing. Beyond that, there are also private car condos that you can own. And for more information about all this, head over to their website, m1concourse.com. But don't go there just yet, because we need to see how well this thing actually works. But before we can test it, we have to enable it, which is super easy. We start by putting the car in drift mode. Then once we've done that, we press and hold the ESC off button for about five seconds, which of course turns off stability control. And now we are ready to go. Sideways, that is. So right now I'm only going about 15 miles an hour and all you've got to do, pull the lever, give it a little throttle, and around you go. It's like a merry-go-round. Look at that. What a f***ing riot. It only takes about six pounds of pressure on the drift stick to activate the system here. So pulling harder really makes no difference. All you're doing is activating a pair of very small micro switches. Look at that. And the cool thing is you don't even have to go all the way around in a circle. You can counter steer and sort of catch it. Look at that. Beautiful. So much fun. Bad about 
destroying these undoubtedly very expensive Michelin winter tires, but Ford knows what we're up to. The drift stick here may look about as frail as a butterfly's wing, but it is surprisingly sturdy. Also, I thought it would get in the way a lot more than it does. Really, it only partially blocks the climate control system, which is really no big deal. As with everything in life, there are limitations, and the drift stick is no exception. It only works between 3 and 70 miles an hour, plus it has a maximum apply time of 10 seconds, which, truth be told, is plenty for getting sideways. You know, when I first heard about the drift stick, I thought it sounded absolutely frickin' ridiculous. But in practice, it is a hell of a lot of fun. I mean, look at that. I'm smiling from ear to ear. I feel like Ken Block out here. And interesting fact, he actually signed off on this thing before it made it into production. So this little accessory is tons of fun, but there is one more drawback worth mentioning. Aside from not technically being cleared for use on the street, Drift Stick is also incredibly expensive with an MSRP of $999. But if you're still interested, the Drift Stick is available in both the U.S. and Canada from authorized retailers. Just look for part number M-2780-FRS. And like many other Ford Performance components, it does not affect the vehicle's factory warranty. Though the same cannot be said about the rear tires, they're impacted, well, quite heavily. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Autoguide.com YouTube channel to get all of our latest features and vehicle reviews.